What's older than we think? Flushing toilets date all the way back to the Indus River Valley civilization, back in 2000 BC. Ancient Minoans, 3000 to 1100 BCE, had hot and cold running water and an extensive sewage system. Romans had pipe heated floors, something I still thought was awesome when my aunt got it like a decade ago. I work somewhere where we can't wear our outdoor shoes due to biohazard concerns. You come in and take your shoes off, then have to go change and get into specific clothing, then on the other side of that change area is where your work shoes and boots are. The in-between areas from door to change area have heated floors because people are often walking around in bare feet or sock feet, and it's just the most coziest damn thing ever. I need to have heated flooring in my house for winter times. The ancient Romans, well, the wealthy ones had central heating in their homes. You can actually still see the pipes in some of the buildings at Herculaneum. What I think is really cool from Herculaneum is that we're able to recover writing from the libraries there. The pyroclastic flow didn't turn the papyrus to ash, it preserved in a very damaged state. But thanks to lasers we can see the words that were once visible on the pages. Thanks to lasers thanks lasers. Sharks. Sharks as a family are older than trees. Escalators have been around since 1859, though they were called rotating stairs. Yet the U.S. state of Wyoming still only has two of them. Granted, it's not like Wyoming has enough people to really need any more. Wyoming really isn't ready for it yet, give them some time at it. I actually made up Wyoming and I'm not sure why my Narnia fanfic setting is so popular with you guys. The name Tiffany. It dates back to the 12th century, and has actually led to a thing in writing called the Tiffany Problem because you can have a well-researched historical novel that people just don't buy into, because you named your 12th century peasant Tiffany. It just sounds laughably anachronistic. The Tiffany problem makes me think of Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice and the name Jessica. He wanted the love interest, who was Jewish, to have a super exotic name so he invented the name Jessica. The name has become so common since then that it's totally lost its effect. Shakespeare also randomly invented the word gossip because he needed to define a bunch of wives in the town talking shit and spreading rumors. And now it's part of common English language. Edit, okay, not randomly, per se. I guess he was the first to put into usage in writing, and possibly the first to use it as a verb. And if you like authors inventing first attesting words. n.wikipedia.org absent, accident, ad, agree, bagpipe, border, box, cinnamon, desk, Digestion, dishonest, examination, finally, flute, funeral, galaxy, horizon, infect, ingot, latitude, laxative, miscarry, nod, obscure, observe, outrageous, perpendicular, Persian, princess, resolve, rumor, scissors, session, snort, superstitious, theater, trench, universe, utility, vacation, valentine, veal, village, ulgur, wallet, and wildness, are a few that are most commonly used of the 1977. This does not necessarily mean that he was the person to introduce these words into English. Yeah, first attested is a lewd different than created by. Fax machines. They were invented in 1843. Before the telephone. Hashtag X200B, www.thoughtco.com history of the fax machine 1991379. The electric car. What is likely the first human carrying electric vehicle with its own power source was tested along a Paris street in April 1881 by French inventor Gustave Trove. The first crude electric car was built in the 1830s but it was essentially a semi-functioning model. The electric car was a direct competitor to gasoline-powered vehicles until the 1920s when roads got better, people started driving further than the range of an electric car, and the world started finding major oil reserves. Ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids the ancient Egyptians were as old to the ancient Romans as the ancient Romans are to us. Cleopatra is chronologically closer to us than she is to when the pyramids were built. Woolly mammoths were still alive during the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. They died out about a millennium after its completion. About a what now? The Funk Soul Brother. The fact that the lighter is older than the match shook my head as a kid. It also gave me the curiosity to question things that seems obvious. When you think about it, it makes sense. The lighter is a simple mechanical concept, some flammable gas and a spark. 
The match, on the other hand, is a complex chemical reaction. Matches are just way more complex than I thought as I kid. They aren't just a stick of wood. I don't know if this counts but dinosaurs lived on the earth a lot longer than most people think. When you think of dinosaurs, you think of their extinction but they roamed the earth for 165 million years. Compare that to our 6 million, and it's almost mind-boggling, at least emo. Edit, the modern form of humans is 200,000 years old but if we include our humanoid ancestors, we've been here 6 million years. Edit 2, I get it, dinosaurs are still around. What I meant to say was the dinosaur era. What's even crazier to me is that for most people in their minds there was dinosaurs, extinction, caveman, us, like we popped out of the ash of the dinos but in reality there were about 58 million years between the dinosaurs dying and the first homo sapiens appearing where the world was covered in mostly now extinct megafauna. Sure dinosaurs are cool and all but why does nobody talk about giant North American ground sloths, cave bears, and lions? There's literally tens of millions of years of interesting non-dinosaur species that most people seem to just not even know existed. Avocados originally relied on American ground sloths to reproduce, they were the only creature that could poo the seeds whole. Then ground sloths went extinct, probably due to overhunting by humans, then humans cultivated avocados for the next few millennia and now we still have avocados. Humans cultivated avocados for the next few millennia and now we still have avocados certainly not via the same means as the American ground sloth. Do you have a better idea of how to do it? I was really surprised to discover when Oxford University was founded. They don't know the year for sure, but they know there was definitely teaching going on there in 1096. Another commenter above said that Oxford isn't even the oldest university, but it's the most well-known. Beer is thought to be older than bread. It's much easier to fill a jar with wheat and water, let it ferment, and brew beer than it is to grind grain, mix it, and bake it. So you're telling me sliced bread is the greatest thing since beer? Ha! Huh. Nintendo. This company was actually created in 1889. Nintendo was founded in 1889. Van Gogh painted Starry Night in 1889. Adolf Hitler was born in 1889. Hashtag X200B, edit, some additions from the comments one. Eiffel Tower opened in 1889. Wamaqui area, Ubla Blabla 0572. North Dakota became a state in 1889. Eurogabis 3. Pizza was invented in 1889, Uvillard 894. Bonus, that's the year user issue S house was built. Hashtag X200B, additions from Umii from comments year 1888, 1. National Geographic magazine was founded 1888.2. Foster's beer was first brewed in 1888.3. Jack the Ripper did most of his murders 1888. Hitler made the worst video games. That's why nobody likes him now. New Grange in Ireland. It's a man-made Neolithic stone structure that predates the Great Pyramids and Stonehenge. It's a wonder that it isn't one of the great wonders of the world. Here is a fantastic video on it. Geographics is a great channel all around. How, at nearly 40 years of age, am I just finding out this place exists? It makes Stonehenge look kind of boring by comparison. The exterior is a relatively modern recreation. The interior chamber is legit though. Good luck trying to book a spot on the solstice. The waiting list is probably longer than the rest of your life. When I went there, you signed up for a lottery to be there on one of the five days where it lights up at the solstice. It's not so much a waiting list as luck, or at least it was back in 2011. Oreos. I was shocked to learn that Oreos predate chocolate chip cookies, sliced bread, and my 100-year-old great-grandmother. You're going to make me Google the year, aren't you? 1912 for those wondering. Brain surgery in 1997, archaeologists discovered an ancient tomb in the French village of Ensisheim from 5000 BC, which contained the decomposing body of a 50-year-old man with holes in his skull. After a thorough examination, it was determined that the holes, located near the frontal lobe, were caused by a type of surgery, not by forced trauma, and the operation appears to have been successful because the wounds healed before the patient's death. To this day, however, researchers cannot say for sure what exactly the surgery was trying to fix. This might have been trepanation, the deliberate practice of drilling a hole into the skull for medical reasons, for example headaches, epilepsy, 
head trauma, mental disorders, letting out evil spirits etc. The oldest evidence of trepanning comes from the Neolithic period 12,000 years ago. It was crazy common too. To Fahemonella, you had a larger chance of having a hole in your skull as a caveman than being a redhead as an American. Imagine having a really bad headache, one of those just let me die already headaches that lasts for hours and hours. You are scared, you don't know what's happening or why. The pain is relentless. You go to the doctor shaman and he's like. You want me to put a hole in your head to let the evil out. You wouldn't even hesitate. I've had migraines like that today. Pretty sure I'd let someone drill a hole in my head to let pressure out lol. <laughs>